Coloracetam is a racetam drug that may have cognitive enhancing benefits, but is it really effective and is it safe? Well, let's find out. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm a brain hacker creating content that will help you upgrade your brain performance. If this interested, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Today, we're gonna be talking about coloracetam. We're gonna look at the benefits, side effects, dosages, and I'm going to tell you if you should consider supplementing it or not. Oh, and we'll also talk about its legal status. So if you're ready, let's just begin. Now, coloracetam is a synthetic compound that was developed and patented in 2005 in Japan. It is a potent choline targeting supplement that boosts brain acetylcholine levels. Now, acetylcholine, as you probably know, is a neuromodulator that is important for memory and even learning. So at least in theory, if you supplement coloracetam, you should have more brain power, better cognition, more memory, and learning should be easier for you. But what do the studies say? Now, initial studies show that coloracetam can improve memory in mice with damaged nerves. Now, this led to further research of coloracetam for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease, but no studies were ever published. And that's why coloracetam was never used, or at least it wasn't used so far, uh, for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease. Now, more recently, coloracetam was used in studies to analyze its effect on depression and anxiety. Now, a company that conducted those studies actually figured out that supplementing coloracetam can improve major depressive disorder and even help treating it. But despite those promising effects, coloracetam is currently um, forbidden to use in most countries around the world. Now, how exactly does coloracetam work? So firstly, it works by improving choline uptake in the nerve cells via the choline uptake system. And as you probably know, choline is a crucial compound that increases uh, acetylcholine levels in the brain. Now, the second way that coloracetam works is by decreasing the toxicity that is caused by glutamate. Now, one study was done in humans who suffer from depression, and this study showed that if you give people with depression 80 milligrams of coloracetam three times per day, they have reduced depressive symptoms. So if those benefits are actually proven, then this means that coloracetam is not only effective for improving cognitive performance, but may also help people with depression and even anxiety. Now, when we talk about the benefits, as you can see, due to the limited evidence available, it's really hard to talk about them and say, what can you really expect from coloracetam and what not. However, based on the data from biohackers that have been testing and trying coloracetam, they often talk about the following benefits, improved memory, improved focus and attention, a better cognitive performance and more brain energy, more energy in general and even better motivation. In addition to that, based on the survey that was done on Reddit, uh, with over 300 people, you can see that coloracetam scores really high in terms of its effects on anxiety, but even higher in terms of its effects on improving memory. So there is really something going on here. By the way, guys, if you wanna know how well does your brain work, go for our free brain assessment, link in the description below, and get your brain performance score. So what about the daily dosage? So currently, we don't know the optimal daily dosage. Also, we don't know uh, what's the dosage that is safe for long-term use because we don't have such studies in healthy individuals. However, based on the limited evidence available, it seems that a dosage of 20 to 80 milligrams per day seems somehow optimal, at least for short-term use. Talking about the optimal dosage, let's also mention the side effects. So based on the available research, supplementing coloracetam seems safe for short-term use, and it also looks it is non-toxic. However, we lack data, long-term studies, that would show its effects in the long term. Now, the most commonly mentioned side effects are mood disorders, fatigue, and even brain fog. Now, based on my understanding of how coloracetam works, I think those side effects happened because people took too much of choline. Quite often, people combine choline with alpha-GPC and with cognizin, and they even eat lots of meat, which is high in choline, or even eggs, which are even higher in choline, and this can cause the mentioned side effects. Now, in addition to that, coloracetam may interact with anticholinergic drugs, with Parkinson's medication, with cough suppressants, and so on. So even if you consider supplementing coloracetam, do consult your doctor before doing that. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. Should you consider supplementing coloracetam or not? 
Well, based on the very, very limited data available, especially in healthy individuals, I think right now you should avoid colorectomy. First of all, it is illegal for use. Uh, it's really hard to get it online because of its legal status. We don't have any data, any long-term data. We don't know what happens after months or years of supplementing it. So because of all those factors, I don't believe you should supplement colorectomy. Besides all the mentioned factors, there are some really potent and safe nootropics on the market that can provide very similar effects as colorectomy. And if you want to learn more about them, watch the video up here. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, follow your inception. And guys, I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.